Hi, um, my name is Jason Kinsale and I'm the owner and developer of the Balmoral. I was actually Bahamian born and had the pleasure of living in Canada for most of my life and decided to return approximately 10 years ago. Ever since I've been back, I've fell in love once again and this is now home for me. I am a retired realtor from the greater Toronto area. I work with Royal LePage for over 30 years. And when I retired, I decided to move down to the Bahamas to be closer to my family and grandchildren as they do live here. My name is John Pendlebury. I'm from Calgary, Alberta. I assist in managing Balmoral Development and I purchased a home here because I'm really excited about the investment opportunity long term and it's a wonderful place to work and to live. My name is Trevor Adderley. I'm the managing director of the Balmoral Club. Um, the Bahamas is a country of 700 islands. Nassau is our capital. Nassau is where everything happens. Well, I think when you're looking at any development, you really have to look at the location. When I looked at uh, the Balmoral, what stood out to me was the fact that we were right next door to the U.S. Ambassador's residence, we were right next door to the Prime Minister's residence, and we are situated right in the middle of town. I was amazed at all the things that we can do here. Fishing, whether it's spear fishing or deep sea fishing, hanging out at the beach with the family. It's, uh, I mean, it's endless, beautiful sand here. It's, it's gorgeous. Kiteboarding, which I have gotten into, and boating. You go out to a little island and you can feed the iguanas, and then you go out snorkeling and... Wakeboarding, the ocean's always a bathtub here. We are three minutes from the beach. Everywhere you go in Nassau, there's a beautiful beach. It doesn't matter what part of the island. We have great private facilities if you want to just join a club. There's great public facilities if you just want to walk down to the beach. We're 10 minutes from Atlantis which is the best hotel in the world, in my opinion. Lots of golfing for people who like to golf. It's just so easy to raise a family. The beaches, the people, the Bahamian community is just very family focused. I don't think anywhere you can go that you will find more friendly people than you would in Nassau. I've been to some of the out islands and although they're friendly, I still think the people in Nassau itself are friendlier. Maybe because we've always had so many tourists here, but I think the Bahamian people are great. I've been in the Bahamas for 10 years now and I've really seen the country evolve. We have uh, Starbucks here now, we have Nobu restaurant which is a world-class restaurant. Toronto doesn't, it doesn't even have a Nobu. We have the Bobby Flay restaurant. So really what I'm trying to tell you is we have a lot of amenities and a lot of um, entertainment that you would see in a big city in a small island which really helps to give you a balanced lifestyle. You know our banking is second to none. We have Royal Bank here, Scotia Bank. First Caribbean, the major Canadian banks are all here, so it makes your process for obtaining a mortgage much easier. Tourism in the Bahamas is the number one income generator. As a result, they love to look after tourists. The Bahamian government has invested heavily into a new airport. In fact, the company that built the Vancouver airport built the new terminal here. And we're 10 minutes from the airport. And because of the direct flights and the accessibility of Nassau, a huge development, Baja Mar, which is $2.6 billion, right on Cable Beach, has happened. It is going to change the whole landscape, just like Atlantis did to Paradise Island. Baja Mar is going to be the largest casino in the Caribbean. And this project in this hotel will actually employ approximately 6,000 employees. This is an immense development that is three minutes away from our project, so people are going to need places to, to live. Their management will have to be renting units from our homeowners and our investors. So now is the time to act. It is just so very exciting. The Balmoral Club is a very special place. It's a colonial style home that was built some 63 years ago by a British engineer. His name was Sir Oliver Simmons. He came to Nassau. He fell in, um, in love with the, uh, the island. He built a hotel here that was called the Balmoral Hotel back, back then, which is now Sandals Hotel and he built this, this lovely home. It's 17,500 square, square feet. It sits on 43 acres. And it's one of the most interesting homes um, in Nassau. The home has a series of tunnels under it, wine cellars. A couple of years ago, it was decided to turn it into a private club. We embarked upon this process with first-class architects. And the environment is very special because the, the house is open. You can see all of the lush palm trees and silk cotton trees. Mind, 
We have had numerous of functions here, such as the Miss Universe Welcome Party. We have had um, the famous show Top Chef here with Marimoto and Wolfgang Pop. We have had the Bahamas F Film Festival, which has had several things here. I'm Johnny Depp, and I'm, and I'm included. Sean Connery has visited the Balmoral Club and had parties here. It's a place where someone can come and relax, take it easy. The requirements are not as stuffy as some of the other clubs in Amnassau. One can come here in jeans or shorts on, on a Friday night with the jazz music. We have a full service restaurant, top notch chef. We have a beautiful first class gym, beautiful pool. We invested uh, heavily in our tennis courts, uh, three clay irrigated tennis courts, which are very difficult to find. It's especially nice to those older people that are having a tough time with their knees. Our grounds are, are spacious, the green space is uh, plentiful. It's a focus on community, and that's special with the, with the clubhouse. You don't get that in many places. Sometimes suburbia, you, everyone stays in their backyard. Here, we can all go to the club and enjoy each other's company. When we came up with the concept for the Balmoral, we felt it was very important to have a variety of product that could appeal to a variety of uh, different needs. Uh, we've come out with a two-bedroom, two-bath condo. We have a two-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath townhome known as our Royal. We also have something called our Grand, which is a four-bedroom, 2,000-square-foot uh, unit with three-and-a-half baths. And we also have uh, single-family homes. So there's, there's something for everybody here. We really felt that value is what people were looking for, especially in this economy. The days of paying inflated prices are over. People wanted to know that their investment is secure. And we've actually been able to increase prices over the last three years versus having to offer any substantial discounts. So the market in the Bahamas has been quite strong and stable. As a first time buyer, Balmoral was the key for me. Didn't have to pay, pay property tax. As a young, young family man, I, I found a really nice two bedroom open concept place to live in and the cost of sales was was not overwhelming it was very easy to buy and I, I was surprised how easy it was to get a place here and the value they put in these homes uh, I was also amazed at that we have granite countertops real wood floors uh, 10 foot ceilings open concepts impact windows large backyards when I look at the Balmoral and I look at the Bahamas what am I using to make my decision Proximity, three hour flight. The weather, 80 degrees all year round. The location, we're three minutes from the beach, we're three minutes from Bahamar, we're 10 minutes from Atlantis, we're 10 minutes from the airport. Then I look at price. The value that the Balmoral offers is second to none. For 385,000, I don't think you can beat that for a two bedroom townhome in the Bahamas. And the reality is that these, these developments, we have a limited inventory, and we'll not have this inventory forever. So people need to make decisions. You need to act now and come and see us. We'd be happy to show you around.